In the Kimberly and Combined Locks areas, community members are grieving the loss of nine-year-old Mackenzie Van Epperen. She was just nine when she was tragically hit and killed by a semi-tractor on June 2nd, her first day of summer break. But a friend of the family is sharing her creative way, you see it right here, to honor Mackenzie's memory. Here's W. McCarthy reporting. And like I said, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do this. We just hope that people share in this and can find healing in it. Ashley Milhop is showing how to paint what are known as hide and seek rocks. Those are rocks that can be hidden around a community and then found by those who know what to look for. People do like ladybugs or paintings of a mural or uh, flowers. But these hide and seek rocks are a memorial. I thought we had to have something special that tied Mackenzie to it. And so I came up with the idea of calling them her memory stones. Mackenzie was a student at Jansen Elementary and was involved with her local Girl Scouts troop. My daughter was in the same grade and we had interaction with Mackenzie throughout the school year. Mackenzie's sudden and unexpected loss hit her community hard. And so every time somebody finds a rock, it's a memory of Mackenzie still with us. You can find them if you just look. First, Ashley made a social media post to a group of moms from the troop about her idea. And that turned into a collection of other moms and community members coming together to make the stones and share memories. And then they got to talking about how they felt when they, they found out what had happened and that this was their friend and neighbor and team member and troop member and just them sharing that and knowing that they all had a fairly similar response and that they weren't in it alone, I think was really helpful for them in their healing process. The group decided that the best color to represent Mackenzie was a rainbow because she was always changing her favorite color. Many are still making these stones and placing them all around, some making it as far out as parks in Nina. She did softballs, so some of them had softballs. She loved reading, so somebody did a book. So, if you spot a rock with Kenzie written in colorful letters, now you know why. Reporting in Combined Locks, Darby McCarthy, NBC 26.